everyone, Scott and Ash here for another episode of Blaze TV. Tonight's two draft guests are no strangers to each other. They played in the GB under 18s in 2014 on the same line as Alex Forbes. We welcome Sam Duggan and Ivan Antonov. Welcome, boys. Thanks for having us. No problem. Sam, I uh, want to come to you first. Um, you were Danny's fourth round pick. I want to go back to your junior career. At 16, you went off to Sweden to play for Aribo. How did that come about? Because it's not the usual career route that the juniors take. And at 16, it's a pretty big move to take. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was a really good step for me. I think I, I always wanted to get away after my GCSEs in uh, when I after you know I was done with school. So uh, it came about just through getting getting in contact with uh, certain connections that we had and just sort of putting my name out there. Um, yeah, it just came about from from that really. Uh, I, I had the opportunity to go and go and skate out there for a week uh, in front of a sort of an agent. Um, who ended up being my agent for the four years that I was there. And then, um, yeah, he said to me by the end of the week that there was, you know, five or six teams that he could speak to for me. And Orobro was, was the choice. Um, they were a, a, a building block of their sort of, of their building process of their junior program. So it was a great um, organization for me to go in as sort of a bit of an unknown, um, under the radar guy. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm really happy I made that decision, and yeah, you know, I haven't, haven't looked back since. So I had a great four years there, and really enjoyed it. So at 16, what how what are your living quarters like? Do you go and live with your teammates, or do you live in a dormitory? How, how does it work? Yeah, so it's a, it's a little different to how they do it in North America. Sorry, you might get my dog jumping up on the bed behind <laughs> me here in a minute, giving me a lick or something. But uh, no, yeah, they. They do it very different to like North America. Um, it's very much, but 15, 16, you're on your own pretty much. Most guys move away from their parents and uh, uh, it's not like a billet, you stay in a billet family like they do in North America. So they, most guys are in apartments. Uh, my mom actually moved with me for the first year. So that was great um, to sort of, it allowed me to focus on just settling in and making making new friends with my teammates and not having to worry about so much cooking and cleaning. <laughs> uh, she did most of that. So but then she, uh, dad moved out towards the end of the first year and they loved it there as well. Um, but then they moved back and I moved in with a teammate when I was about 17. So yeah, each guy had their own apartment. Some guys lived together and uh, yeah, it's a pretty professional setup from from a really young age over there. So I see puts you in good stead for later on in life, I presume. So that's great. Yeah, absolutely. Ivan, yourself, you were a seventh round draft pick, draft pick by Danny. Um, bit of an unknown quantity. But once your name was drawn out the hat, there was a few murmurs around the league that, oh, we know about this guy. We, we want to talk about him. So what did you think when you were drafted? Yeah, what I would say is, obviously, I was quite pleased to be picked in the elite series and be participating in this which I think is quite a great event. We've already loosely mentioned about the ripples around the elite league when your name was drafted and uh, Omar Pasha and Adam Keith, two elite league coaches, uh, both mentioned your name in the post-draft show on the elite league Twitter that a lot of coaches are going to be watching you while you're in this tournament. Does that add any pressure to yourself or are you just going in there, I'm Ivan Antonov, I'm going to show what I can do? Um, I would have to say the latter. I would say um, I'm just going in there with a mindset of just go out there, show what I can do, have fun. I mean, it's going to be quite good to play again with some of the players I played with juniors. So like Dougie, I haven't played with him for four years, so it'd be quite good to play with him again. Um, Tom Ruckus, um I mean, I played with a lot of the guys that were drafted or are in Coventry, such as like Ross Venus and David Clements. So I think it, it will be really fun to play again with those guys. Well, you've got the coach intrigued, but what can the Blaze fans expect from yourself on the ice? Because most probably haven't seen you touch the ice yet. I don't want to tell you if I sell myself. <laughs> 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 um, I would say... Uh, 
my style of gameplay is more of a playmaker. So hopefully I'll be making plays out there and um, chip in with a few goals and a few assists if I can. Moving over to yourself, Sam, you've spent a couple of seasons in Cardiff now, a big organisation within the league. How's that experience been for you? It's been it's been fantastic, really, to be a part of that organisation. That's things are run so well there, and um, it's been great for me as a young guy to sort of look up to the to to the people around me. And, and I can't, I've got you know nothing but good things to say about that organisation, how it's run, how you're how you're treated on a on a daily basis. It's um, you really feel like a, a professional every day when you when you come to the rink and everything, not just at the rink, but things away it's important as a hockey player that you know you have a nice place you know you, your living situations and, and different aspects like that are, are taken care of and they've been stellar on that part and uh yeah to be to be a part of the organization I'm very proud to to have played there for the past two two seasons and um it's been great for my development to be around you know the caliber of players that they've that they have there and that we've had over the past uh, couple of years. And yeah, and, and most of all, it's a fun group to be a part of. Uh, the, the, the type of guys that, you know, they look for in Cardiff, they, they sign people before players. And um, so we've just had a locker room of, of, of really great guys for the past, uh, for my time there. And definitely uh, a place that I hold uh, very, very close to my heart. So. Well, you've been a playoff winner there, winning the playoff in Nottingham. Are you going to bring the playoff winning format to Coventry and hope for another piece of silverware? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's the goal. Uh, I'm a Coventry Blaze player for the next five weeks. So uh, I'm going to do everything I can to help the team win. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely. Just take a, take a game at a time. Have have uh, Enjoy being with the, the guys and uh, yeah, just have some fun out there. Sam, you've been uh, one of the only players to really play competitive this year. What's been like? What's it been like being back in Sweden? It's been really great. Uh, it's been a great year, actually. I ended up in a team in in Stockholm, um, so uh, we, I was in a, a small suburb in Stockholm for the for the season. Um, obviously, I've got I've got some a lot of connections in, in Sweden and uh, made some really good relationships with people in my four years and juniors there. So to end up back there was was pretty special. Um, uh, playing at a good level and actually having a, a lot of responsibility in, in the within the team. Um, you know, as in Cardiff, we had such a, a veteran team that sometimes it was tough to find the minutes. You, you know, my role on the team was you know, I was in a bottom bottom six forward role. Um, I wouldn't play in any, you know, special teams, which is, you know, I accepted. I, I took that role on, but uh, in it, in it, it allowed me to learn different aspects of playing that, you know, that side of the game too. But as a young player, I think it's really important to, to play in, in important situations. And this year really gave me that opportunity to, to play special team minutes and, uh, and to be sort of like a go-to guy, which is um, which is something that I, that's been great for my development. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been really happy with my year. Uh, we had a really good group of boys. We 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 struggled at the start of the year, and we weren't a, a winning team throughout the year, which had its challenges as well. But again, all learning experiences and uh, something I think I'll look back on really fondly. Brilliant. Well, Ivan, Sam, uh, welcome to the Blaze, and uh, let's get going. <laughs>